Welcome back to today's vlog here at the Treehouse and beyond. We have an interesting delivery here today. I just can't wait to see my wife's reaction here in about an hour. So thank you guys for tuning in and today's vlog is sponsored by Dr. Squatch. Big thanks to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring this video because this is something that I have actually used for years. If you're one of those guys that thinks soap is just soap and you haven't tried Dr. Squatch, for the most part guys, I live a pretty organic life. I catch my own fish that I eat. I hunt my own meats. I'm married to a dietitian. We know what we're putting in our bodies. And I also like to know what I'm putting on my body and know what is in my soap and my shampoo. Dr. Swatch is made right here in the USA with all natural ingredients. It's stuff that you can actually pronounce and it's amazing smells. Stuff like cedar, pine, all these things that you associate with good outdoor experiences. You're gonna smell this every time you use the soap and smell like it afterwards. Me personally, I like a little bit of grit in my soap. Lets me know that it's working. I love the pine tar. It's got oatmeal and sand in it. Trust me, you will feel it when you're scrubbing, but they have other ones that are zero grit that are less abrasive. You gotta try Dr. Squatch, y'all. Your skin will thank you. Your lady will love you. And Dr. Squatch offers a 100% money back guarantee if you don't think it's the best soap that you've ever used. So if you wanna feel like a man and smell like a champion, Use the link in the description and use my code DSQ Lake Fork. That's DSQ Lake Fork. It's right here on the screen, and that's going to save you 20% off on any order over 20 bucks. And that's for the new customers. So all of you that have never tried Dr. Squatch, go try it. I promise you, you're going to love it. And thank you, Dr. Squatch, for sponsoring today's video and making me smell like the woods. I love it. All right, so if any of you have ever gotten tax derby done, you know, it's it's kind of a funny thing. It, it can it can usually take a really long time. And last year when I went on my elk hunt, I got an elk of a lifetime. I was like, there's no, there's no way. I can't get this mounted. So I was thinking this might be like a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe even like two years to do this thing. And I might even be in a different house at that time. We not, not only do we have short ceilings, we have eight foot ceilings, but I have pretty much filled it to the brim with, uh, with mounts. There's really, there's just, there's just no more room. And with today's interest rates, I don't think we're gonna be moving for many years. So one day we'll have that house where there'll be maybe a place to put uh, an elk or some large American game up on the wall. But uh, right now we just don't. So I have a ginormous elk that is gonna be delivered here in the next hour or so. OSG has never seen one of these things up close. I just have nowhere to put it. So we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this thing. Let's do a quick chicken check. So did a little bit of experiment earlier, taking one of the smaller birds that are about eight or nine weeks old now, and just putting them in here with the adult birds. And that did not go over too well. Little Penny Rooster Buddy, he does this weird sideways like dance walk thing when uh, when he gets around some other chickens sometimes, and he started he started doing it. It's like he's getting pretty defensive. Oh, oh you getting defensive on me, bud? You getting defensive on me? Look at that. He's starting to get a little aggressive. He does this like sideways thing. He kind of eyes you up sideways, and then he'll he'll just kind of peck you. So. He started doing that when I put the little chicks in here. Are you thinking this camera is a little chick? Is that what you're doing? Look at that. I've, I've never seen him get like this aggressive. I guess it's because I put these chicks in here today and just got him in a mood. Welcome hey. to our house of chaos. Hey, house of chaos. We're in the, look at this face. Sometimes followed with injuries. That one's right behind you. Standing. Standing, almost. What can I get into? This is this constant thought process? You did a backflip, Amy. Good job. High five. You're backflipping on everything now. And we got little Pooter here. He's walking. He's pushing. He's pushing around everything. He just he just wants to hold your hand and, and walk. He's, I'm gonna say he's two weeks out from complete walk mode. You know, kids are getting physical around here. Getting crazy. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting beat up on daily. So, um, I came up here to kind of inform you that uh, 
There's a large American game animal that's going to be showing up here today. It's not a full body mount, thank goodness, but it's a shoulder mount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've, you, have you ever seen an elk live, like up close? I have. You have? Where? Yes. Where was uh, that? When we went to the Grand Canyon, they were just walking around. That's the only time that I've seen them. Time check. There should be one here in about 10 minutes. That is, uh, it's, it's a trophy class bull elk. Where Very are we large. Putting, where are we putting this? I don't, I don't know. He's probably going to take up yet another parking spot in the garage. I don't know. So, I, no, yeah, we're going to have to just keep your car out forever. Yeah, it's, it's never coming gonna, back in. No, I would never. Once we started that. I've never put the elk in the garage because it would, it would fall apart. So, our, our house is kind of interesting that it's, uh, it's like an old lake home type type deal it's kind of an odd construction so there there's like one spot where there could possibly be a mount that i thought about but but no there's baskets there right now and i still don't think it would be big enough actually so then if we shift over here if you look up here this is kind of like the whitetail establishment uh there's most of my good whitetail deer that I've got. There's my first uh, low fence 140 deer. Um, there's Uncle Herschel, you know, big old mature crazy eight point. Um, and then we've got, you know, a taste of Africa up there. You know, at first I was thinking, well, maybe there's a chance when we, when we first moved in here that if I ever get an elk, maybe it could go right here. But we have filled that, we have filled it up, and also the outstretched arm to hang that thing, uh, dad would be going down. Dad would be going down the stairs. So I, lo I love my little white tail wall here. Um, love my little room in the loft. This is about max animal size right here, the Nyala, you know, the Leshway. You know, it, it looks, looks like there's enough space and then you put something up there, you realize no, no there's no way. So. This is the only spot and we've got Uncle Herschel there and quite honestly, I just wouldn't trust my outstretched arm or the stud configuration to even hold that bad boy. So there's, there's, there's really, yeah, it can't fit right unless there. unless it could go in the bedroom. It's not going in the bedroom. I don't want to look at it when I'm sleeping. Would it fit right here? If we took that down? I don't see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. But I think, I think we have what's called a sneak position or that's kind of like, it's kind of like looking out, and I did that because the antlers are going to be really tall. And oh, okay. It's also just kind of a cool position, but I, I honestly think like the seating fan might get in the way there. <laughs> so, would love to put it up here. It's the room of collections and uh, adventures and things like that, but yeah, yeah. No such room. Plus, I would hate for old Unibrow, you know, Uncle Herschel to like have to look at that elk every day. And be like jealous, you know what I mean? Like, man, Jack what a stud. That is a little crazy. <laughs> oh. All the antlers are coming. The antlers are coming. Sorry, we got we got little kiddos running around, oh. so you can just set it right in the litter and it's fine. Right here. Can you should be fine? Yeah, on the carpet. Oh, okay. That's well, they're heavy. Yeah, they're real heavy. Oh, did I get you? It's so big. It's so big. It's so big. Look at it. I mean, it might as well be a piece of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's bigger than a piece of furniture that I've brought into the house. It's so big. <laughs> I think the most impressive thing are these antlers. Yeah, the antlers are crazy. I, ju I just want the antlers. I mean, yeah, Amy already tried to pick up an antler and the antler bit her. Oh, no, I heard so. you crying. At first I thought it was baby Ben. I was like, no, I have him. I was confused. Can I get you? Uh -huh. Wow. Well. Okay. <laughs> well, now we need to think of a name. Uh, antlerly. 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 Yeah, that would be a good name. So, you know, some people get like a floor pedestal mount where the chest is like on the ground. But, um. All right, we just leave it there. You just want to leave it there, just looking straight up. <laughs> yeah, that's a play play. You see what I'm talking about? How how far it extends out from the wall? 
Yeah. Like yeah. it's it's not like a deer where it's only like a couple feet. Well, let's not put your feet on it, Amy girl. What? Ben's <laughs> trying to climb in. Ben's here. just crawling on the antlers. Now be careful, little bud. Okay. Some of these are kind of sharp. Hey, it would be really cool if we had a house with a chimney or a, a fireplace. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, one day. One, one day. day. We have no we have no fireplace, but uh, I think I think old boy here is it's definitely a chimney worthy. Where do you think I should put it? Well, where you shoot that little piggy. Shoot the little piggy? Mm -hmm. And where the other little deer is? Yeah. So you think this would be a good archery target? Mm-hmm. How heavy is it? It's not crazy. Like, I think, you know, it'd be fine on a stud, but you'd have to really, really secure it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what if you just like, what if, what if there you just, it just is. hang it there? <laughs> the, <laughs> just right when you come in the yeah, house. That's right when you walk in. Try like, try to grab one of the antlers and put it on here. Like see what it would even do. Yeah, it's gonna hit the ceiling from here. And this is like low. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's there's, not happening. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> okay. You know, you gotta love a misplaced uh, mount. <laughs> Randomly misplaced mount. Mom. Just to try to give you the scope of how big this is compared to a whitetail, you just grab one of these guys. This is, I think, Stephanie's. Yeah, this is Stephanie's eight point that she shot this past season. Just an arrow, don't worry about it. A three and a half, four year old uh, whitetail from Texas, right here. You know, antler size. Oh, I mean, what in the world? Look how silly this would look. Just the antlers on this thing. Is that not nuts? Obviously, I can keep it here, but it would just be on the floor, getting in the way. Um, our house is just way too small. You know, it needs to be done justice by hanging on a wall somewhere where, you know, I, I can look at it every once in a while. People can appreciate it. Such a cool animal. But I at least want to put the antlers on right here and just try to try to get a scope of it. <laughs> like it really does look like a jumbo jump for the kids. <laughs> Baby inside of a 350 inch bull elk. If a bull elk actually got angry with you and wanted to toss you around, it'd be pretty dangerous. All right, big boy, we're gonna find a home for you. Okay, everybody, welcome to the official offices uh, here. And we are sitting here in front of Matt's office. This, this place right here, I have a lag bolt. Uh, no. They're metal. They're metal studs, so we might have to. Get metal creative. studs. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Grant's here. He's an expert at this stuff. So um, if it falls, you know. Okay, a little bit of math here. A little bit of engineering. It's going up, boys. So there's something new in the office. 
<laughs> okay. I wanted you to see. Oh boy. I think I know, know what this is. If you know what it is. I, we talked about this Wait, in Michigan. Where are you going? Where's, where's it at? Well, we gotta push. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, did you just see it? I just saw did it. Did you just see that? <laughs> <laughs> How did you not see that going into the yeah, office? I don't know. I, was, I guess I was focused on getting to my office. You get to talk to him every day. Feel the power of the bull. <laughs> it, it fits the office. That's bull power. Fresh rosemary from your backyard garden. Yeah, my rosemary is uh, is dying in this Texas heat. But I'm glad you uh, put it to good use. Oh, my little booger, are you excited to try some elk? Are you gonna try some elk? What do you think about elk versus whitetail? What do I think about it? Oh, 1,000% elk. You're all about the elk. Uh, yeah, it, it, well the ground elk, it crumbles so nicely. Wait, you just want to get in there? You want to put your face in there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's my, that's my little linebacker right there. <laughs> Afraid to eat the meat of the forest. Oh, we can just buy a beer and a steak knife and let him go down. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh. Yum. Mm-hmm. Mmm, shoot fire. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Y'all, I wish elk were as plentiful as whitetail. Can we bring back those days when they just were in the pastures, in the fields, in the plains? Mmm. Come on. Bureau of Wildlife and Management, Wildlife, whatever. Let's make that happen. So I am about to chow down on some delicious elk steaks. Uh, and what else you got here, babe? Uh, bacon wrapped asparagus and a little potatoes with some macaroni and cheese. My goodness. Thank you guys for tuning in to another vlog. I think from now on this year, honey, I mean, I, if I, it, it, it's gonna have to be a Megalodon white tail for me to do any sort of shoulder mount. Everything from here on out, um, I'm basically just going to do a European mount or not even maybe. I mean, I'm kind of taking a different approach this year, you know, going more the natural approach. I'm going to keep more, more of my hides. I'm going to keep my tendons and all that stuff. You guys have been seeing me, uh, getting into the bow making process. It's all, it's all part of it. So a little bit different approach this year, but we still have, um, a little bit of elk left and, uh, we got some white tail left too from last season, but it's about time to start it all over again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for Dr. Squatch for sponsoring today's video and God bless you, Godspeed. We'll see you on the next one.